happy Monday, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for June 28th. Monday, you pick a card. It's your main energy, but I do pull them all together. They are for all of us. June 28th birthdays will do you next. Okay, so if you pick card number one, Major Arcana of the Hierophant. Okay, what do I feel here today? This could be a very significant day for whoever picked this card. Um, for some of you are definitely dealing with a big company. Some, not all of you. Big company, institution, could be a banking system. Maybe you're purchasing a home, a new home, property, or something like that. Um, maybe this is a, um, a great um, opportunity to, um, maybe it's a new job. I feel that someone that you know is very helpful here. A lot that you want is there within reach. This is high manifestation as well. This can be also dealing with court um, or making some kind of agreements, a major purchase. I don't know. There's something there. I want to say pay attention to your intuition and the warning signs too, but you, there is something that tells me, I don't know why I'm picking up justice is served for some of you, okay? And that means it's mostly in your favor. I mean, for some of you, it, it is a very general reading. It's in your favor, but something is going to be fair. Some important agreement as well. Okay, so yeah, I'm picking that for some picking that up for some of you. This is good if you're artistic. Um, if you are a musician, I don't know why I'm picking that up too, but it could be that you're making a, getting a contract job or an agreement too. So I did pick that up. Okay, card number two, Queen of Pentacles. This is smart business sense or putting uh, things in priority. It's like you're working, you're making money, you're, you, there's a lot of responsibilities that you are taking care of. I want to say one thing, though. Yet let your intuition guide you. Don't let anybody pull on your heartstrings because I do have a feeling that somebody may take advantage of your kindness today. So what I want to say here is don't let anybody, you know, play the victim or pull on your heartstrings because you have your own responsibilities. You're not responsible for anyone else. So that is one thing. Do not go way and above um, for anyone. I feel this is too much is what I'm picking up here. Um, so taking care of yourself is the best thing I can say here. Um, today there can be a little bit of chaotic energies around. It's like maybe thing people know you're responsible. People know that you will, you, you know, whatever it is. And they may come at you and ask you for favors, things like that. Um, I do pick up two females maybe involved, um, today for some reason, uh, female energies are coming through here. Um, Not just supporting others, support yourself too. You know what I mean? Take care of yourself. All right, so that's one thing I'm feeling here too. Uh, it's But it's good business sense. It is getting things done. Just don't let anyone pull on your heartstrings. I'm picking that up really strongly for some of you, okay? All right, card number three is the Hermit. Now we have two major arcanas for today. All right. There is something that you've been working hard on. If you are going through school or whatever it is, you are working hard, you're keeping more to yourself, hard work and perseverance is going to pay off. Something that maybe you've been working for already for the past month or so, I'm picking up for some of you, okay? Give something another maybe two weeks, okay? You have to really be patient and trust that you are being guided and led. So you're going to really have to trust that you are being led and guided by the universe, okay? Um, I do feel that some of you are working on, maybe this is a bad habit, an addiction, and you're trying to kick something. Um, you can do it, is what I'm picking up. I'm really picking up individuals here today. Um, there's going to be a significant celebration or, you know, like a, um, like being proud of what you've accomplished. Okay. So I am seeing that kind of energy as well. All right, so when we pull this together, the Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Hermit, there is an underlining energy. I feel a Cancer may be involved today. Um, we are succeeding. We are like partially successful, or there's just a little bit more work to be put into something. I see creative writing, music today. Someone like like I said with the Hierophant, I felt 
uh, musicians, uh, um, artists are coming through. Um, there is money coming in. I feel we are, some of us are like going into an entrepreneur type of energy is showing up. It's entrepreneur, um, dealing with real estate, home, financially being independent. We are very driven to succeed. We have the queen of pentacles, so really we can. Um, there are some, I think, endings to a certain situation. I pick up a Pisces energy too. Very giving energy, but again, balance the giving today. We need to give and receive equally. If not, no. <laughs> there is a very strong healing energy here. Opportunities are presenting themselves. But we have learned some lessons with this. And I think we went through all of this here, kind of combining together what we have learned. So applying that and... Um, Everything in moderation and everything is a balance is very important, okay? All right, so that is the reading for today. I hope everyone has a fabulous Monday. Happy birthday if you're born today, June 28th. This is a very quick and general reading. This is your solar year theme and your wish card. Solar year theme is the major arcana of death. So this is a very significant solar year for many of you. I do feel that um, this is a year of a lot of endings, okay? And transformation. It is death, okay? So we, we are seeing that. I'm going to say for some of you, there is karma attached and you get what you deserve is what I'm feeling here too. Now, I want to say that some of you will be going through some um, important, um, there could be some a law case, legal case, um, justice, I pick up here, though it's the death card. Um, I do feel that this could be a major case, a uh, legal case, but I do feel that this is also a year where you're going to make a very important decision. The law is, pay I'm picking up law legalities. Maybe some of you will go and study law. I don't know. I just picking up that energy. This could be a year of a major purchase or an agreement, um, signing many documents. Maybe somebody passed away or um, leaves you some kind of inheritance. So I do see that kind of energy. Major transformation. Major transformation. I feel this is a year of many changes. Okay, you have some challenges ahead you, some conflicts ahead you, competitive energy ahead um, this is a year if you start, like, you may take some kind of risks, you start some kind of hobby or whatever it is, um, it will take some time. It's trial and error. When it comes to work, career, and school, I do see the wheel is turning for you. It's like I picture so many major arcanas here and they're not even present. It's just the death card. I feel like, um, expect the unexpected. There's luck on your side. Um, there could be a year of, you know, it's just ups and downs. It's like surprises here and there. Just never, you know, plan, have backups, uh, backup plans. Um, there's a faded energy too. So I do feel, um, things could be turning around for you. There is some luck on your side. When it comes to finances, I do see prosperity and abundance. Okay. Prosperity and abundance with finances. So that is looking good. There is a female that I pick up here that could be um, very helpful when it comes to finances. I think a lot of you will be um, um, financially secure, I want to say. But if anything, money doesn't bring always peace, joy, and love. And I do see that energy. When it comes to love, if you are single, um, you may find somebody at work or at school. Okay? So I do see that energy. If you are in a relationship, I do feel that um, your love life will be very important. There's going to be a major decision that needs to be made in your relationship this year. Okay? Um, for all relationships, there are delays with things that you want in your social circles or some relationships. Something you've been hopeful for um, and when it comes to all relationships will come to uh, fruition, but it will come in delays. So expect some delays. Um, so I do see that there's a lot of spiritual energy that I pick up spirituality coming in when it comes to relationships. So there's a sense of destiny and fate and spirituality. Okay. 
Really interesting reading, I'm going to tell you. Okay. Your wish for your solar year is the hermit. You got double, double, double major arcana. So this is a very significant year. What I feel here is you have to have faith. Because I do see when you least expect it, this wish is going to come to fruition. Okay? So it's a yes. The important numbers. Actually, some of you may be traveling. The important numbers for your solar year is 5, 3, 8, 6, 23, 11, Seven and ten. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful solar year ahead. Everyone else, a wonderful Monday and bye for now.